it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes and I'm back with the results of some of the repairs or repurposing uh, that I did in uh, the uh, latest video and I'm thinking of calling these sessions Maker Mondays just because it has nice alliteration and it uh, gives me a focus for looking at uh, making things so the first thing I'm going to look at is this molded in place vintage necklace and it had broken on the one side and actually uh, in the process of repairing um, the other side came out so I had said on my video that I was using um, GS Hypo Cement to uh, glue a new um, eye pin into the end uh, bead. Unfortunately that didn't work so I had to use uh, the E6000 and as, I, and as I just mentioned in the process of doing that the one on the other side came out so I've actually repaired both of these put them on added the missing chain and then just to finish it off nicely I added a little round bead it's not plastic it's glass but it's lightweight and it's in the right colors so let's see then we end up with a nice uh, two layer vintage necklace there's the original clasp that was intact there's the repaired side of the necklace and with the um, chain and bead added and I guess if we were to measure it, of course, that means I have to have my ruler. Oh, there it is. There's my ruler. So in terms of wearability, we've got a three inch extender and then a 14 inch necklace. So 14 inches would have been very standard in the 50s, 60s. Um, 16 is about minimum of what most people wear these days. So there's a repaired necklace and I will uh, put it in my restored, repaired um, jewelry. Another thing I had been looking at was how to extend this necklace. I think it was Um, the, these um, marbled beads, dark marbled beads, were about 13 inches and there was no clasp. So I have restrung them and added um, a hook and eye closure. I might put a heavier hook on, I'm not sure about that one. But you might remember that I had these... Um, clay beads and I wasn't sure what to do with them so I took the best of them some of them still have a little, little bit of modeling in them but of all the other choices of beads I had I thought these turned out the best so now this necklace is 20 inches and very wearable uh, nice muted colors um, and I think that there's much more interest in variety in this now so uh, I hope that uh, you like the changes I've made to it um, and I'm gonna as I said I'll probably put a longer or, or a heavier hook on here but that's just a matter of getting out the appropriate wire and doing it so for today so hope you enjoyed that update I still have uh, these white beads to clean I've taken off the uh, the wooden beads so that I can soak these and, and not worry about the paint from the wooden beads coming off but I just haven't got to um, a point of doing that yet I'm gonna soak them on the string so that they're easier to keep track of um, the string uh, it won't be worth saving uh, afterwards anyway but it just helps to keep them in order so that they're easier to restring yeah.